In this module, we will introduce the surface area of combination of solids. In our day-to-day -day life, we come across a number of solids made up of combinations of two or more of the basic solids. Look at these pictures. The truck with a container fitted on its back carrying oil or water from one place to another. Capsule Pencil Top Letterbox Can you guess the solids combined in this tank and capsule? These both are made of a cylinder with two hemispheres at its ends. Now guess for a pencil. Yes, pencil is the combination of a cone and cylinder. And this toy is a combination of cone and hemisphere. And this letter box has a hemisphere on a cylinder. How do we find the surface area of such a solid? Let us take this capsule and we can see that this solid is made up of a cylinder with two hemispheres stuck at either end. If we consider the surface of a newly formed object, we would be able to see only the curved surfaces of the two hemispheres and the curved surface of the cylinder. So, the total surface area of the new solid is the sum of the curved surface areas of each of the individual parts. This gives TSA of new solid is equal to CSA of one hemisphere plus CSA of cylinder plus CSA of the other hemisphere where TSA, CSA stand for total surface area and curved surface area respectively. Now let us consider this top. To know the surface area of the toy which consists of the CSA of the hemisphere and the CSA of the cone. So we can say total surface area of the toy is equal to CSA of hemisphere plus CSA of cone where CSA stands for curved surface area. Now let us take some examples. Example Rashid got a playing top Lattu as his birthday present which surprisingly had no color on it. He wanted to color it with his crayons. The top is shaped like a cone surmounted by a hemisphere. The entire top is 5 cm in height and the diameter of the top is 3.5 cm. Find the area he has to color. Solution The top is exactly like the one we have discussed above. So, TSA of the toy is equal to CSA of hemisphere plus CSA of cone. Now, the curved surface area of the hemisphere is equal to 2 pi r square. Here r, that is radius of hemisphere, is 3.5 by 2 centimeters. On putting values, we have 2 into 22 by 7 into 3.5 by 2 into 3.5 by 2 centimeter square. Curved surface area of cone is equal to pi r l. For this we have to find the value of slant height for which we need the height and radius of cone. So, the height of the cone is equal to height of the top minus height or radius of the hemispherical part that is 5 minus 3.5 by 2 centimeters which is equal to 3.25 centimeters. So, the slant height of the cone is under root 
R square plus H square. Putting values, we have under root square of 3.5 by 2 plus square of 3.25. On solving, it gives 3.7 centimeters. Therefore, CSA of cone is equal to pi RL which equals to 22 by 7 into 3.5 by 2 into 3.7 centimeter square. But the surface area of the toy is equal to CSA of hemisphere plus CSA of cone which is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into 3.5 by 2 into 3.5 by 2 centimeter square plus 22 by 7 into 3.5 by 2 into 3.7 centimeter square. Taking common 22 by 7 into 3.5 by 2 we have sum of 3.5 and 3.7 which is equal to 11 by 2 into 7.2 which gives 39.6 cm square. So, the surface area of toy is 39.6 cm square. Example The decorative block shown is made of two solids, a cube and a hemisphere. The base of the block is a cube with edge 5 cm and the hemisphere fixed on the top has a diameter of 4.2 cm. Find the total surface area of the block. Solution The total surface area of the cube is equal to 6 into edge square is equal to 6 into 5 into 5 cm square is equal to 150 cm square. Here, the part of the cube where hemisphere is attached is not included in the surface area. So, the surface area of the block is equal to TSA of cube minus base area of hemisphere plus CSA of hemisphere which is equal to 150 minus pi r square plus 2 pi r square which is equal to 150 plus pi r square which is equal to 150 plus 22 by 7 into 4.2 by 2 into 4.2 by 2 centimeter square. This is equal to sum of 150 and 13.86 centimeter square which is equal to 163.86 centimeter square.